Episode 16, we're making a few different things and we are going to have falafel. Mm. Don't mm. feel awful, we've got falafel. Ooh. Using some of our good friend Mr. Frizz's Reaper powder. That's yes. right, made with real grim note Carolina Reapers. Mm. So yes, uh, I've had it a while. Um, it was in my, in my cupboard and I was going, oh no, I haven't used lots of that. Yeah. Because it is quite surly and yeah. um, mean. I believe we might have used it once before for the yeah. um, the chilli popcorn. But hey, we haven't done falafel yet. And hey, we wanted to pack a punch. So yeah. Reaper's the only way to go really, yeah. isn't it? So there we're going to have a generous teaspoon, isn't there? Isn't yeah, there? I believe so. Yeah. yeah. So a fair bit of Reaper powder in the falafel itself. And then we're going to mix in, in the pita bread, a bit of salad. And through the salad we're going to put uh, some... Mr. Courgette grown jalapenos. Oh, they're all going all over the shop already. So we've got one that's over ripened to red, very nice, yep. and a couple of stunted ones before the green fly attack. So we have three chilies to go through the, um, the salad because, hey, a nice little mild counterbalance of jalapeno to the power of the Reaper. Yeah. What film are we going to watch? Well, I'm going to try and pronounce this and get it horrendously wrong because I often do. Now, I believe this will be Wormwood, but it equally could be Wimrod or Wimrod. Anyway, we think it's Wormwood, but it's an Australian film that's supposed to be a combination of Dawn of the Dead and Mad Max. Two great films that I haven't seen. Um, it's, it's got a byline of a retina blistering Aussie post-apocalyptic zombie film, which sounds pretty good to me. This has won lots of awards at lots of film festivals that we haven't either heard of or been to, which is usually a ringing endorsement of it being pretty damn awesome. So, um, yeah, we're going to have some spicy falafel. Yeah, let's go to a cooking montage. Oh, it's back. <laughs> You may or may not have seen a cooking montage. No, this cooking was not our finest moment. All we can say is for 99p we would expect better cooking instructions. Yes. Mm. Half a litre of water, my arse. Yeah, mm. a quarter of a litre may have done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh. Damn you cheap food parcel express people. Right. So, uh, yes. Have, yes, um, falafel kebabi goodness. Pita bread, um, falafel, well, <laughs> wet falafel mix with um, reaper powder, um, yogurt with chopped up green jalapenos and a dill pickle, and then we've got cucumber, red jalapenos, and tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, let's see if we can get into this and get something that isn't just oh. goo. That's just bread. Uh, that's mostly mustache. It's just cucumber. Oh, there's something really hot in there. Yeah. I think that's the red jalapeno. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't cucumber, I just bit. Yes, we have made ev everything alarmingly warm. Yes, not only have we put reaper powder into the, um, the falafel mix, we have also just chopped up jalapenos and thrown them in raw, just for the sake of it. Mm. Which, looking back on it, was a great idea. <laughs> oh. There's a good burn to the, the gherkins. Apples. The gherkins are nice, they bring a bit mm. of sweetness in. Yeah. It's a little, it's a little wet and cloyey, the falafel mix. But, 
You're definitely getting the reaper powder out of that. Mm. Definitely. I'll definitely try that again, but with a different make of falafel mix, I think. Yeah, yeah. Name and shame. Name and shame. Get your instructions right. But inexperienced cooks, get your instructions right. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, we're going to watch a zombie film now. Yeah. And we'll be back afterwards. Um, yeah. Wow. I think pretty um, awesome. That yeah. is, I think that's in the, the top top two. Oh, top two. Uh, yeah, I yeah. really liked it. It had a really nice flow to it. Yeah. Um, it it kind of flowed in a similar way to um, kind of computer games. Okay. It had that kind of really nice jumping from character to character, to character which a lot of the story yeah. based computer games do and the, mm. you know various problem solving things. I think it, it would be almost a really good new modern media thing to do it as a, mm. as a, as a computer film uh, as a computer game um, there's various things you know like if you've played Grand Theft Auto properly it is like watching a film Oh, you're pitching to that one percent demographic out there who actually tried to complete a mission on Grand Theft Auto, yeah, rather than just run around shooting everyone. Mm. But uh, it was, yeah. Oh, really lovely arcs, uh, characters that had oh characters that actually had character development. Yeah, which and for a zombie film is fantastic. You know? Yeah, background story which they yeah. told in a really good convincing way. Um, um, but just the way it. it picks up on certain threads and runs with them. I mean, I mean, you don't want to put spoilers out there, but there are certain things with the way the zombies are used, the proactive means. Yeah. Um, don't want to go much further than that, but just brilliant use of zombies as part of the main narrative that you don't have elsewhere. Yeah. You know? I mean, we've had Walking the Dead, where the entire film was about someone who could walk zombies... There's an element of zombie mind control in this one, yeah. which is brilliantly done and really, again, aids with the character progression. Oh, that, that's a, a, a fantastic, insane scientist oh. as well. They, they did. I, I do feel they, they didn't touch on his character quite enough. Oh, do you know? I think we got. But then that was got, quite nice. We got nice. a good portion of yeah. it. You know? uh, yeah, I, I like the idea of a. You know, <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I like the idea of a mad scientist that um, has juxtaposed music towards what he's doing. You know, you've had, um, well, you've had um, Steve Martin as the demented dentist in Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah. You've had, you know, you get that juxtaposition of someone in a position of seeming to be in control of what they're doing from a scientific purpose, but clearly being insane Quite behind insane. the eyes. And yeah, this had a great mad scientist in it. Yeah. Uh, but. Great elements of they say Mad Max, oh, but I, I think, think um, was definitely Mad Max. Yes, yeah, elements of Mad Max, but elements of eighteen getting you to a position where you have vehicles ready for Mad Max. Yeah, you know. Um, but yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah, I hadn't yeah. thought of that. It could be yeah. the world before Mad Max's world had turned into Mad Max's world, mm. and, and it's why people had these crazy vehicles. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, uh, it was yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. A great brilliant film. zombies, great effects, more kills in the first minute than in the last two or three films we watched combined. Probably, yeah, I think um, great. Not a serious zombie film, but out of the last few films we've seen, I think it was the more. I mean, it, it was. There were funny moments in it. It's always good uh, to build up drama to have funny things happening, but. It was, and it was so unfeasibly Australian. But it's action road movie zombie yeah. with an underlying element of comedy running through it, but not necessarily. It's not slapstick comedy. It's just got a wry wit to it underneath the yeah. like, underneath the the sort of action adventure comedy. Not sorry, not comedy, but you know what I mean. Yeah. You know what I don't mean. Who knows what I mean? Anyway, but there's action. There's adventure. There's explosions. There's fire. There's, there's guns. Fighting. There's fighting, there's headbutts, there's nail guns, there's saws, 
claws, there's uh, injections. Uh, Gas-powered ha uh, harpoon. Yeah, I mean, it's got innovative deaths, innovative weapons, great characterisation, great facial hair. Yeah. Great facial hair. Um, loads of stuff. It's pretty damn worth checking out. Oh, speaking of uh, facial hair, I haven't told Mr. Cause yet this, but um, the, this might be the last this video the last. With, the, with the beard. This might. If you think he should keep the beard, <laughs> in the comments say keep the beard, and with every comment that says keep the beard, it stays for an extra month. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And you can comment as many times as you like. <laughs> uh, in fact, we could even have a hashtag of uh, Mr. Courgette's beard. The more hashtags of Mr. Courgette's beard we have, the longer the beard stays. <laughs> Cannot guarantee he keeps beard. <laughs> So anyway, Wormwood, great film. Check it out. Um, Flaffles, they're great if the, the recipe works. Yeah. Adding a bit of chilli uh, powder, that's yeah. good. Um, Homegrown chilies in, in the yoghurt sauce. I think it works out good. well. What I would say is, we'll call them Flaffle Sloppy Joes and we'll be alright. Yeah, yeah, that's it really. So, yeah. um... Join us next time when we may or may not have a cooking montage again. Yes, hopefully we will get cooking and we will get better at cooking. Mm, maybe one day. There'll be more zombies. That's for sure. Yeah. Mm.